Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. Today I'm gonna to go over my February 2023 overview. Um, this is a little later than normal, but um, I'm going to go about it as if it was the very beginning of the month based on what we were projecting for income and all that. So um, obviously I know some things will change, So, um, but I'm going to do it as we had intended from the very beginning. So, all right, so my income, oops, his income, and then the VA. Okay, so my income is always 1566 twice a month, so it's 3132. His would be 850 for 3400. And then the VA is always 630. I'm going to put other, which would be DoorDash, etc. And I'm going to project zero because we didn't intend on having to do DoorDash. So I'm going to total these up, which is at $7,162 for the month. And then I'm also going to write in all of our bills and then I'll come back and put the amounts in. Uh, but I'll speed through this. Okay, so I have everything filled out. Um, mortgage is seven. Cloud, is, this is cloud storage, is two. Recurring security fee is two. Highlander is 450. BarkBox is 33. We always, always do 320 towards our bank credit card. Typically, it's a lot less than that. We just pay 320 standard across the board. Edward Jones is 50. Internet is 68. Dance is 90. This subscription is 25. City is 90, I believe. Yes, 90. Alliance 84. Mid Americans 132. Truck is 613. Travel is 253. Uh, Kohl's, we were doing 50. Life insurance 19. Cell phone 319. Apple paying 180. And then school lunches 240. Okay, so then I'm going to total all these up. I'll fast forward through that as well. So that totaled up to 3720. All right, sinking funds is 295 per week, so that's 1180. And then cash envelopes. Normally it's 395, which we did the first week, but then it was 400 for the next two weeks as I decided to increase our gas by $5. So it's 1595. And then Amazon, I'm going to put under debt payments. I am budgeting 50 but I know it'll be more than that because we have that big snowball. So um, I, that's what I'm putting there. And then other would be other things. So I'm not going to put anything in there. So income, this section here, we'll put income of 7162. Bills is the 3720. Sinking funds would be the 1180. Cash envelopes would be 1595. Debt would be 50 and other would be zero. Hope that's in frame. Yep. Okay, so we will take that and then subtract all of these. So 7162 minus 3720 minus 1180 minus 1595 
minus 50 leaves us with $617. And normally if there is a leftover that just goes towards our buffer. Um, I don't try to, I try not to roll anything over to the next month. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Anyways, um, but that is what our month is, was supposed to be. Um, there were some changes with my husband, not because his um, pay got decreased, because it wasn't. It was actually his hours, because it's slow right now, and so they're cutting hours back. Normally he was getting 10 hour days. Then it got bumped back to eight. A couple of days last week were seven day or seven hours, um, things like that. So it will pick up eventually. I mean, it's just the nature of the beast with this industry. So, um, but I just wasn't, I wasn't prepared for that. I, I knew that there were slow times. I just didn't realize it would bump it back that much for hours. So he still got 38 hours in last week, which is still great. Um, but it won't be like an $850 check just because there's no overtime involved. So anyways, um, long story short, we're going to be doing some door dashing to help supplement that. So that will, there'll be something in here at the end of the month. And then, um, food may be changed a little bit because I decided to cut back a little bit on groceries and do like a pantry and freezer clean out. And then, um, you know, that's what we're going to do. So, Anyways, um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and uh, stay tuned. I will be doing a giveaway video here very soon later on this week, probably during the um, budget with me that will come out on Friday. So have a great day. Bye.